the next patch for Rainbow Six is going to take away Yana's frags, put in the frost rework, and it's going to slow Warden down. Gridlock is also going to be getting nades, but stick around for the full details of the next patch. All right, so when we look at the full patch notes that's going to be coming in the next patch for Rainbow Six, we've got the frost mat that is going to be reworked so the teammates can revive, and that's going to take four seconds. Same thing with the self revive. The debuff is not going to be applied if you get revived by a teammate. So the debuff is obviously going to slow you down at last 60 seconds, and you're going to move 20% slower and you can't sprint. It's also going to leave a giant trail of blood behind you. Your health is obviously going to be the same, whether you're revived by a teammate or you revive yourself. It's going to be 20 HP that you're going to come back with. So being caught in a frost mat is being consider it down but not out therefore you can only be in a trap once you can only be down but not out once so if you fall into a second trap you will immediately die from that mat yana is going to be given stuns and that's replacing the frag grenades but she is getting nigon six back so she will still have some sort of explosive in order to get rid of some sort of material whether it's in the evil eye or barbed wire or whatever else you want to use the gone six on so at least she has one explosive that she can use in the round finca is getting frag grenades back and they're removing the gone six so finca is now going to be a, another competitive operator to replace yana we don't have the lmg meta to worry about so the frag grenades are a good fit for her again gridlock is also going to be getting nades so gridlock we will we'll get frag grenades the gone six is getting removed and it, the frags are replacing the breaching charges. Uh, for PC and console, Sense is going to have a recoil fix. So Sense is going to have reduced vertical and horizontal recoil and reduced recoil after long bursts. So the POF9 should be better to use after the next patch. And of course, we've got Tachanka getting a little buff as well. His DP27 LMG is going to be increased from 49 damage to 60 damage. And the last part of the patch is obviously the Warden change, and that's going to be going from a 2 armor, 2 speed, to a 3 armor, 1 speed. So hopefully that prevents people from running around with the 1.5 and picking Warden only for the site and not for actual, his actual kit. All right, so those are all the updates coming in the next patch for Rainbow Six. If you enjoy Rainbow Six content, make sure you drop a follow for any Rainbow Six news and Rainbow Six content.